from Baltimore, welcome inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Tuesday baseball on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. We go to the bottom of the first and into the box for Baltimore. Vince Porter. Leading off. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And he takes a strike. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hey, no one down here. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Preston racing over to make the catch. Batting second. The second baseman. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys yeah, that can down, handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he yeah. does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Batting third, the first baseman, Pedro. Navarro. Pedro Navarro, the next to hit for the Orioles. Hey, two up. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times right, early, on once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings through it. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Baltimore, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading and off. now the DH, the Damon Orioles. Sutter. The designated hitter, Damon Sutter. Mac back to work. Good eye right there. Mac, he gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. some cut action to it velocity pretty good on that slider so far moving the ball around nicely yeah. next offering is in for a strike even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time and he's an exception yeah and even with those home runs if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths then those home runs are solo shots but to this point he hasn't had to worry about it swinging and now one away that's a pretty nasty pitch right there I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s it's that got so it. much spin on it the and catcher. you really don't have a lot of time Bobby. to sit back and watch what yeah. it's going to do before you have to commit it was a good one for the swinging strikeout and now Robbie Dell you look at what the elite guys do they strike guys out they limit walks and they limit the ball going out of the park. No score here in the second. 
Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start here, expanding Mullis. what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part that of the field. Good. Man, there are a lot That's of hits there. Oh, yeah. Here's O'Neill Cruz. And when you look at today's game, when you're talking about openers and a little more reliance on the bullpen, it's still nice to have a guy like this who will get you deeper into the game. Yeah, because it's a long season, and when you're talking about sometimes right things here. just not going the way as planned, you could tax that bullpen, and we all know whoever's bullpen can stay fresh longest, they have the best chance of winning the championship. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two away. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every right once field. in a while. You give up Zero. on that pitch at the plate, and then Thanks. the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not hey, a good on, feeling. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jerome Banks didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. What is it to you that separates him from guys that are maybe a level or two beneath him? This guy's not afraid to pitch to contact, so he's going to attack you with the fastball. He's not afraid to put the ball in play, let the defense work behind him. But what I love is the fact strike one, best pitch in baseball. He does that at a very high rate. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And the Orioles leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now, Joey Weimer leading off for the Orioles. The left fielder, Joey. Weaver. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. There's a strike. And a pitch. Aye. And a strike on the outside edge. Put him away. Give him your best stuff. Here you go. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. What a way. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. The you want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. Yeah, this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. Hey, plays that one right here. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. No, oh, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking no to protect, fielder. and halfway Pitch. to the plate, you know you've Order. committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup, right, and down, here man. is Vince Porter. Chavis from Sprayberry High School, and you know what? Spray something here, you're driving a run. First offering, and it just misses. Counts one and oh. Plays it first. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. Ah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground to first. Hunter takes it himself, gets him easily, ends the inning. Orioles held in check there, and we're still knotted at zero. Bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Miguel Villarreal. For the Orioles. Matt, back to work. The second baseman, Miguel. There's a strike. Villarreal. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Here we go, boys. Here comes a pitch. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a one two. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch First outs baseman. already. So this Frank lineup Hill. hasn't had much success no. trying to oh, figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And now the first baseman, Pedro Navarro. All right, come on now. Swings through that one. Oh, one one. There we go, one. That's out to center field. Cash has a beat on it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Now batting the designated hitter, Damon Sutter. Damon Sutter, on, the next to hit for the right Orioles. Now. And that's in there for strike one. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Robbie Dell. For the Orioles, the catcher. Robbie and the right hander back to work. Dell. That's in there, and that is strike one. Has some trouble with it. And he'll be safe at first. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Turn two right here. Here we go. And the pitch. Trying to move him over here. Hunter. To second, there's one. And he'll keep it for just the one. The right fielder, number 30. Jerome Banks. And next for the Orioles, Jerome hey, Banks. It up. Plays it too. First offering oh, misses the mark. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop up. Nunez moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. 
Well, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that oh, pitch was right. right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, no came out of his mechanics, and instead Weaver. of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Joey Weimer, the next to hit for the Orioles. In the air to left center, take it, take it, take Preston. It. As this one sized up, he's got it. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. Still no score. Nobody here, nobody. Bottom of the six. And into the box for Baltimore, Michael Chavis. Leading off for the Orioles. Mac, back to the work. Third baseman. Michael. And there's the strike. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. Hey, come on now. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. Well, oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, but I don't now care where a knuckleball Center ends field. up. Those things dance all over the place, Order. and even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. So the lineup flips over. Hey, right, Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Vince Porter. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream yeah. about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. That stolen base, excellent call. Now, all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Hey, let's go right here. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And here's the first baseman, Pedro Navarro. And a foul ball. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two down, two down. The 0 1. And a swing and a miss. Porter on its second with two down. Stays alive. The O2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Runner leads away at second. At and ball. that one missing low. The one two that one the other way brings it in for the third out and the Orioles leave one and we're still knotted at zero set for the last half of the seventh so now the Orioles cleanup hitter Damon Sutter he's a big strong guy can untie this game with one swing. Sutter. 
the pitch. That's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Hey, strike him out. Clutch up right here. Bounce to third. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Dell in the box again. Takes a strike. He's got one here. Deal one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And down on strikes. And a couple of quick outs. Gets him swinging with that screwball, and it was a good one. You know, the screwball is often compared to a changeup because of the velocity and the arm side movement, but the big difference is what you saw right there. A lot more depth or drop than most changeups, and it caused him to swing right over the top. O'Neill Cruz, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1 for the count. Left hand hitter waits. Strike two. I got the count 0 oh and 2. And that just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two down, nobody on. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Three up, three down for the Orioles. And we are still scoreless. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's a speed threat. Jerome Banks. Leading off. And a pitch. Orioles, the right fielder. Jerome. Come back to the mound. Thanks. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Oriole Park still one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of baseball. I can't say another Let's franchise do. does it better than Baltimore. The opening day ceremony. The players come in from the outfield through the center field wall. Long orange carpet. So many fans here. Just a great place. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Through eight full, it's the Rangers five and the Orioles nothing. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now, Vince Porter. Leading off for the Orioles, the center fielder, Vince Porter. Hey, get that stand right here. The right-hander back to work. That's in there. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Hey, we got no outs. The punch out there. 
And a quick out number one. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking no opposing number batters. Nine. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break Miguel. his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, Fiorina. maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Now it's going to be Miguel Villarreal. And it's one and one. Here we go, boys. Come on. Swings through that I one for strike one two. two. Hey, one away. One away. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And now here is Pedro Navarro. That one's in there, 0-1. Swing and a bouncer. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers get a shutout on the mound. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.